All right. My first question is, what is the story behind The Hunted? As far as how it got started? Mm-hmm. Oof. So, got to be honest, I was playing Path, and I was like, dude, it would be wicked if there was a game like this with modern animals. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to make a game. And then... Let's see what the competition looks like. We saw a few games that were out there um, that had great potential, but I felt like we're lacking in some areas. So there, then I uh, was like, all right, we're going to do it. And that's how that's actually got into the works. And then I reached out to a friend of mine that I knew was a game dev, but didn't have crazy experience. And he was with me since we started. Since Path is something that you mentioned, is that one of the only games that influenced you to make this game or... Was there other influences? So that influenced me to start it. Yes, that's what made me want to make the game. Uh, now I've come across a lot more inspiration playing all the other games that are relevant to it. But as far as what influenced the game to get started, yes, uh, Path of Titans is the reason for it. Ooh, okay, we love Path of Titans over here. What exactly was it that you found that made The Hunted different from those other games that you were checking out? Uh, well, biggest thing for me is that I value quality over anything else. So I knew going into making the game, that I wanted it to look ahead of its time, which is why we went for a higher quality model. And then obviously the combat system has to be perfect. Uh, nobody really had made a complex combat system as far as these games go, but there's not really too many in the genre. So mm -hmm. that is another thing that we want to focus on uh, that will set us aside or make us different from the competition. Do you guys have a certain like project culture? Like how big is your team? Are you all friends or what's that like? As far as staff, our staff is amazing. Uh, it feels like a family. But if we're speaking on devs, they are literally all over the world. Every single one of them. They were hired to do certain tasks. And that is why we are moving so quickly because we do have a good amount of people working on it. As far as who I pay, I would probably say we have six people that I hired, which doesn't sound like a lot, but three of them have their own team. So there's a lot of hands on the game. Okay. So like you divvy out or you delegate some of the work to the people, you know, the best, and then they have their own teams and delegate further. Not even like who, like who I know the best, but everybody has their specialty. So that's just how we task the work and everyone that we chose to be on this project. They're great at what they do. Now, again, I won't even lie to you. None of them have experience with this type of game. They, have, they all have over five years of experience, but for them, this is something new, which is why they took this project on um, and they take it serious because they want to add this to their portfolio. Oh, okay. Spiff, Jake, Max, Mac. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> but do you guys agree with that? Yes. Absolutely. 100%. Do you guys have other jobs as well, or do you guys do this like full time? I can let them answer first. I have a full time job outside of yeah, this full-time job five days a week <laughs> that's really um, great you guys find the time to like spend on here that's why they're great uh me personally so during the actual school year i work so i'm a behavior manager um and then i have two months off for the summer so now i get to really lock in is that why we see you around work. so much yeah that's why you guys got me a lot more recently because before i wasn't as active in the server mm -hmm. do you guys know how big like the learning curve for the game is because you said you wanted to make it a bit more complex with the combat so is it going to be super high skill ceiling or what's it like i think that there is room for people to learn how to be the best at it i would say like on a scale it would be like a medium size uh learning curve because it's different and there's a lot more you have to take into account versus just running in circles and biting. Mm -hmm. Do you know what makes the most difficult part of the development experience for you? Uh, the most difficult, let's see. That's the thing is I won't even lie to you. Like there hasn't really been any major hiccups. Everything's just been flowing naturally. I would say probably the biggest thing it would be if we haven't even gone there yet is just more of once we have to start creating models from scratch, uh, they have to be perfect. And I'm very blunt with my devs about work that I received back. So if I don't like it, I know you guys won't like it. So that is, that's probably, that's the only thing, but I'm so blunt, which is why I think everything's been going so smooth. Behind <laughs> the scenes, you guys don't get to see it. I stress, I stress them out. You stress them out. That's not bad though. Do you guys know what the private beta test experience will be like? Can you share some of that? Um, You guys know it's going to be uh, in the rainforest. You guys know the beta roster. Um, this is really not too much I want to go into like detail with as far as the beta goes or private beta it's more of something i just want you guys to experience mm -hmm. so i won't speak too much on that i won't i won't uh, ruin the surprise as i usually do mm -hmm. 
<laughs> they know. They know. <laughs> they're, they're waiting to catch me saying something I'm not supposed to say. Yeah. All right. What is y'all's favorite upcoming playable? Each of you. Leo, by far. I've already got a long list of people that I have to target. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I hope to see you on the game with a bear. You know? <laughs> I'm going to no, mess you again. all up. Need that rhino so I can just trample all of you guys. Uh, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> um, and I think we all know that uh, the ape army is gonna be the strongest army in the game. So, the ape army. Second, second yeah. strongest. Uh, second, third. We're not, we're not worried about any leos or bears. Um, you nah, you will have many of them. I'm not worried. I'd be afraid. There's a, there's a reason why the apes need an army and the birds only need one. Birds? The birds? The birds. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, nah, Spiff bullies me. Um, we've, whoa, whoa. We've, we've had this... Uh, we talked about this 1v1, before. and I was a tiger, and he was a bear, and he beat me. So I think it'll be different with the ape army behind us. Mm. <laughs> How do you guys uh, design your skins? Other than, I know personally that we had Trippy recently, but for other people who don't know. Trippy uh, came from Path of Titans. Uh, he was a skin mod there. He messaged me actually probably what two days ago as I was about to reach out uh, for a new dev to start working on skins. And he's like, dude, uh, here's my work. I want to see if I can do something for you. And I was like, dude, like you're God sent because we needed somebody at that exact time that he reached out. So he's the guy that's in charge of doing materials and skin designs. We have concept artists that are in the server that draw up the ideas and luckily Trippy is good enough to replicate those and make them come to life. That's awesome. Do you guys have stretch goals for the game? Say that again, sorry. Do you have stretch goals like beyond what you have for the initial release of the game? Don't be giving any spoilers. I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't even answer that without giving spoilers. Ah, uh, can you say I mean, that we do? Far, well, I'd Mac, say. you know enough about the the game and what we have planned, and I know you won't spill the tea. Oh, I don't know. I think it should be left to the surprise everything. Right. So we we will avoid. You that. already so, share enough. <laughs> yeah, that's a spoiler. <laughs> uh, what are you guys' plans for publishing the game? Like, is it just Steam? What is it? Uh, so we just partnered with Steam not too long ago. We are in the works with partnering with. Microsoft and the hardest one is going to be Sony. Ooh, okay. So I don't know if I was supposed to say that. Definitely PC and console at least, right? Yes. What about mobile? I know somebody nope. asked about that. Nope. It won't happen. <laughs> All right. And I assume you handle the finances for your team blip, right? <clears throat> I do. Okay. Do you plan to make a budget breakdown kind of like Path of Titans did? Uh, that's actually what I was supposed to do today because uh, we had some people that were interested in investing and wanted to see the breakdown. Yes, to know where all the money goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's good, though. At least it's in the works. Um, do you have a specific marketing strategy? Like, who are your target audience for the game? How are you getting word out there? Uh, as far as the marketing strategy, we do have a major one that I won't speak on now. But as, as far as what we've been doing, uh, it's really been word of mouth. So reaching out to other communities, uh, seeing if they are interested in working alongside of us. Big shout out to TPK, Divine Beast, Land of Enchantment. Oh, I'm not missing anyone. Mostly Mesozoic Discord servers, era. huh? Yeah, all the... Divine. The, yeah, I said Divine. Um, yeah, but the Discord servers have been pushing us a lot recently. And then there's still some more major ones that are in the works. As like speak. Uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, we also have Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and the TikTok is still in the work. But yeah, that's what we have. Is, is that, that I'm willing to share at the moment. Okay. Uh, some people were wondering why you only do your donations through PayPal right now and why you don't have like a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter. So we actually did start on Kickstarter. But for the release date that we had in mind to try to release in September, it would only make more sense for us to switch to PayPal so we could work in real time. And so that's helped out dramatically. It sped up the process a lot. Um, this is another question that I saw a lot in the questions. And then I think you guys have just been answering it all over the place. So I think this would be good to get it out there. But you had some like artwork that was AI generated. Did you know that it was AI generated or what was the story no. behind that? So what happened was I was actually looking to just get a game cover art made. And I went on Fiverr 
and I saw this dude who says he did graphic designing and cover art. So he sent me all these mock-ups. I personally, I won't lie to you, I'm so oblivious. And I thought like he really drew it. So after I paid him, uh, I found out from someone else that they were AI generated. So I ended up using them because I did pay for them. But now I have real artists in the works, uh, work concept art. Mm, okay. Do you want to do more um, besides like the the main cover page but like for each animal type cover it's kind of like the aisle does yeah we have actually a lot of artists right now working on different ideas and prompts for concept art and even the models uh have to be sent out so that or once they actually are finished to where we assemble them then we can get those drawn up as well okay and the game is like online multiplayer right do you have any kind of single player planned or just i don't plan on releasing a uh, single player i feel like all the games similar that do have single player i don't really think anyone plays them so i'll just avoid the whole single player as a whole uh some other animal survival games have you pay for the base game and then all the subsequent content is free um but you guys i saw you were having dlcs your donation tiers if you meet a certain donation tier you can have those included but will people have to pay for dlcs in the future it depends on if they buy the base game or the full game so if you buy the base game you'll get two maps uh versus if you pay for the full game you get all dlc okay those are all the big questions that people were asking me to double check with you guys um my last thing is really just uh, if you have anything extra that you want to reveal to people that you want to say to convince people who are uncertain to come and join and support you guys i'm like i can't really say it much like mac is over here watching so <laughs> I feel like I'm going to say something wrong. But as far as trying to convince people that we aren't who they think we are, as far as like trying to deal from people, that's just not the case. And I try to be quick and answer everyone's questions and show them exactly what it is that we do. But I, at this point, I personally, I'm not going to go out of my way to convince anyone. I've literally done everything I possibly could to show that this is genuine and I want to make a great game. Yeah, it could just be because it's like your first game, right? And you right. probably don't know everything. That is that is probably the biggest thing too, is that it is my first game. So I could have approached things a little differently looking back on it, but we're here now. And hopefully everyone can see that the game is going to be great. And it's, it's close to being released, coming out in September. Ooh, excited. Oh, when is uh, a trailer dropping? Can you give that? That is, in, that is in the works as we speak. So when I get it, I can't hold anything for too long, as you see. Um, when I get it, you guys get it, even though I, I probably should plan a rollout. But yeah, so Discord will see it first. All right. You heard that. Join the Discord if you're watching this right now for exclusive content. But yeah, those were my main questions. If there's anything else the rest of you want to speak on, now is the time to do it. I think I think that we covered everything, unless anyone else has any questions that's in the audience um, that we didn't touch base on see people typing <laughs> furiously typing I, I i feel like i already know the questions too something about genetics something about breeding something what will happen with youtube genetics would be an interesting uh take because i know as far for most people it usually goes as far as skin c colors and not yeah. much else i can't I, I can't do it lord you're trying to get me uh, <laughs> that's the whole point we, yeah you're not gonna catch me <laughs> uh are we gonna get something like an eagle swooping and and catching prey for the most part most of the animals will have that latch mechanic so don't be surprised that the eagle has it beta is scheduled to release in september talents or anything yeah something like that right is there talents or anything what do you mean elaborate oh let them type i did it wasn't my question <laughs> <laughs> skill points uh no am i allowed to speak on the prestiging no Somewhere. no Somewhere. just a little no. bit i don't know what not to say so yes you will be able to have abilities uh you just have to unlock them i'll say that and those vary in damage um this is a really like realistic kind of game for the most part so i'm assuming that after you become adult there won't be like anything after that well you yeah, Lord, yeah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um, that would fall back into the prestige system, and uh, that is all I can say. I almost, I almost fell for it too. There's like nothing I can ask you about, <laughs> but nothing I extra, I guess. Yeah. Just basic. I mean, uh, you, I think you know all the answers too. So you caught me lacking a couple times. <laughs> 
I like to ask questions, as you can see. No, I appreciate it. Um, I am honored that you interviewed us. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll be putting this up for everybody to see. So, you know, if y'all missed it, it'll be there for you to look through. Everybody go uh, follow Lord on YouTube. We'll drop her uh, link in announcements. I see people talking about something like a home case in Path of Titans. Um, where is that? I feel like that would make a... Yeah, this game a little different, but but not in a like different from other animal survival games. No, yeah. just different from the basic realism you're going for. I don't think that we're gonna do home cave, but I will say that there will there will be habitats, and I can say that dynamic hitboxes, almost like territories. Yes, um, dynamic hitbox. You gotta wait and see. After adult, would you die? You, I can't say. I can't answer that. <laughs> The chat is just like, tell us, tell us something. I really wish I could tell you guys. You guys should have caught me maybe last week when uh, we did the dev streams that I did spoil a lot. He trained for this moment. That's funny. I had to train for this moment. They kept calling me Tom Holland. <laughs> there you go. It's very deserved. I just seen so much um, memes of Tom Holland spilling <laughs> MCU secrets. Yeah. Smell markers would like scent probably no it's not it's not like that i i can't go into detail but you'll see when you play the game a bleeding mechanic it's gonna be a bleeding mechanic oh yeah bleeding's gonna be really bad for you guys i will say that it's not like any other game you're gonna die from it. oh no even yeah. like a small cut not a small cut but whoever you yeah. if you get hit somewhere important paper cut will kill you <laughs> Can I so you get attacked survive and then die later like old aisle basically ah uh, i don't know <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see oh uh, good times good times i remember being like let's see if i live or die after escaping something will there be dynamic scent system in place there will be a scent system yeah <gasps> yep there will be a scent system hey that's my favorite bird i mentioned that bird in the suggestions cassowary a lot of people want to see that bird oh yeah i want to go around and kick people that is great let's do it <laughs> You'll be first. I'm coming for you first. AI animals, poisonous animals, humans with machine there will guns. Be AI animals. I hope now no machine guns. <laughs> How am I gonna live with machine guns? Wild horses? Mm, no, I don't think you guys have zebra yet. Will all the biomes be in one map? No. Nope. Each map will have a set biome. Ooh. Will they make traps? Lord, unfortunately, <laughs> I have to step away. I will leave you here with my great staff that can answer all your questions. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you again. Of course. I enjoyed this. There was a lot to get out. Thank you again. Everyone else, take care. I'll see you around. Have a good night. Mac. Spiff. We're not going to spoil yeah. anything. Yeah. He came back. Right. He came back. Not, he didn't even leave yet. I was, I was about to exit and I heard it. I heard it. Nah, I'll catch you in a second. Good night. Oh my god, he's fun. That's fun. I do have to take off soon, so throw those questions in there quick. Oh yeah, everybody in the <laughs> chat, go ahead. Whatever you want to ask, let it all out. Even if it's weird, you know. Yes, we will have cross platform. What is the strongest animal going to be? Uh, I guess uh, we'll no. find out. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah, well. It's going to be my Leo. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why not? I mean, if you're playing by yourself, it is going to be a song as anime. Summary on what was said. I mean, they can always go watch your video on YouTube. Yeah, go watch my video. I did a whole summary of everything that they've been up to so far. And this was just to clarify, really, some extra questions that I saw a lot of people asking. This will also be up there. So, yeah, it's Lordy Lou Gaming. Check that out. You guys have the True Predator pledge back in stock or how's that? No, not yet. Well, now we don't have it, uh, but we will make an announcement if it gets available in the future again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people want it. They're asking about specific abilities. They're going to have abilities. Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> they can't like, divulge too much until they get that trailer out. Yes, you can still donate and get those. A group buff for being in a pack and weather. Uh, Mac, what you think about that question? Sorry, what question? Animals that belong in packs, would they be able to get a good buff? Um, I am not too sure. Uh, it's something that we're talking about, but we'll have to answer that later. It's something that's being actively looked into. How would the better weather be? We will have weather, that's all. 
and say it specifically a good what. answer. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say something. Yeah, I regretted it. I mean, uh, there will be a dynamic weather. Yeah, it's going to be changing, but it won't be as most games that's just day and night. It'll probably be biome specific, right? Yeah. Broken bones going to be a thing. Most likely is. Yes. And then there's a question about growth rates. Uh, growth rates going to be based on real life or balance? Well, the difference with our game, the growth rate for the hunted will be quicker than maybe Path of Titans or Dial. But where uh, that comes in, you might think that we run around everyone adults killing each other, but that's where the prestige thing comes in that Flip lightly mentioned earlier. Nursing mechanics are still being talked about. Well, I would hope a cheetah doesn't run for 30 minutes. They're supposed to have like low stamina anyway. Cat animals doesn't have the best stamina. But dog animals like foxes and wolves, they will have a lot of stamina. But it will be balanced out to a point where it's where you can actually live with it. Ooh, there would be mutations? As of now, I don't believe so, no. no. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think that would go with your realism. Just no. in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, well, you guys have like, um, one thing I haven't seen in other animal games is like designated leadership for animals that do group up like um, lead wolf or something like that? Uh, it's something that's been talked about, but nothing's planned just yet. Okay, that's cool though. That's always something that I've wanted to see because people talk about it, um, but it never really happens. A lot of breeding talk. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there always is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the breeding, really, that's, uh, that's what our devs will need to look into, the one who actually codes the game because uh to be honest i don't know anything about coding and how it will the final product would look so that's uh something to lead that we'll have to speak on okay that makes sense will there be cannibalism i mean if you want to eat your friend you can eat your friend yeah we can't stop you <laughs> <laughs> penalties for it i don't think we will yeah i guess it would be kind of hard to enforce too people will do it regardless i mean people gotta eat at the end so like i'm starving Brother, I know we've been together for the whole game, but you gotta go now. All right, guys, I do need to take off now, so everybody have a good night or day, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, thank you for joining us, Mac. And I will get your name down eventually. I don't know, it's just the like font, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might change it, make it a little bit easier on everybody. But yeah, I thank you so much for joining and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night. You too. Thanks for having us. Of course. Yeah, now we can leak everything, Spoof. <laughs> everything, what? everything. And now we're leaking everything. Uh, all right, so everybody that said you get the whole game revealed right now. <laughs> everything you asked, yes. Well, they want me to sleep. They want me to sleep. <laughs> I I got a message that said don't be a Tom Hallen. Hey, Hallen. Hallen. Yeah. Rolls and Tom Hallen. <laughs> He's not bad though. I will beat Spiff and Toplip. Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of snitches in the chat. Spiff is uh, actively taking bribes, yes. Uh yeah. I mean depends on the amount, depends how much I spoil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thousand two hundred dollars. I mean yeah. tempting, but not enough. Hundred pesos. Hundred pesos. I mean, Spiff, for you for still that amount, I can tell you that there's a game coming out called The Hunter. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, sing for him, Spiff. Yeah, I'm not doing that. From the stream. <laughs> we gotta bring the person from the sim to sing to them. <laughs> it's beautiful. When this game comes out, it's gonna make a great demo reel for you guys. Like, if you ever want to further your development career. I don't know how far y'all are, like, how much experience you have or whatever. So who is Jake? I'm the... I'm the top dog. Jake is someone you'll never see again. I'm the guy who, who does everything behind the scenes. He's here once a week. I mean, uh, my main job right now is uh, speaking with investors and uh, reaching out to people about possible partnerships. Hey, so you're HR. Yeah, unofficially. Unofficially do you, official. Do you volunteer or are you like actually get paid for that? No, I'm not paid. I'm here because uh, me and Blip, we met on Path of Titans. And uh, I joined this Discord when there was 30 people in it or mm -hmm. 20. And uh, I told them like, hey, I'll help you set up the Discord. And... Uh, now we're here. It's really great to have you. Thank you, thank you. So wonderful having people doing interviews. Oh yeah, of course. I just kind of waddled in here thanks to actually your partnerships with uh, one of the Discord communities. And I was like, oh my God, this looks pretty cool. Sounds pretty interesting. I joined some of the dev streams. was like, let me listen to these people, see if they're cool or not. And then yeah, I was like, yeah. I like to think we're pretty cool. Right, Spoof? <laughs> you gotta back me, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. what. What do people think about us? You know, uh, we like to show that we're we're also human. 
Space like is pretty to, cool. I don't know about this. We like to um, try to interact with our community to just, yeah, show we're human, show them yeah, our personalities. Plot what's behind the screen. Well, that's always a good thing. And that's kind of the point of, like, having an interview. So people get to see a bit more of your personalities. Was there anything else, chat, that you guys would like to ask um, so I can let these two go? And then I'll put this interview up on my channel if you guys want to go back and check anything else. So about the Apex skill. Yeah, now you guys say you didn't like me, so I'm not starting the stream again. <laughs> take take the L. I'm the only one with access to yeah. this Twitch account. Nah, too late, Cosmo. Uh, now they love you. Yeah, now they love me. <laughs> uh, how weird. <laughs> uh, I got a important meeting I gotta attend, uh, so I think we we'll call it. Unless there's anything uh, super important. Well, look, you guys scared him away. But um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys again for taking the time to do this interview, to have people ask you questions, and for answering those questions. Hopefully, we can do this again in the future after the game comes out, and then you guys won't feel like you're spilling all your secrets. <laughs> Well, there will still be secrets, just yeah. even more top secret. Oh, true, true. That's it. You just joined at the end, Blip. <laughs> yeah, Blip, we were just about to end this. Oh, man, I missed the whole thing. You missed the whole thing. You fucked it. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we just had Jake give his little backstory. <laughs> oh, man, what did he say? Just shit about you. Language. <laughs> um, about me? No, I'm joking. I, jo uh, I showed you. But yeah, we were just wish. about to uh, end the stream. It seems like right, we got most of the questions out of the way. Sounds good. Thank you guys for coming. I think Jake's probably going to go play Day of Dragon. And I really want to finish the Outer Banks. So you guys are free to go. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thank you, Lord, again. Yeah, of course. Bye, chat. Oh, bye. Bye. Later. Later.